Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Golf Toad's Duel Tour. Yes, we are finally back and we have completed the entire tournament. Look at that. Lack of two cup all the way to the Bowser Championship. Every step along the way is finally completed. So, the next big thing to do would be the star tournament, which is this. But as you can see, we don't have any star characters. We only have one. And it's the character we unlocked, Boo. So, before we compete in the Star Tournament, it would make sense to unlock some Star characters and do some extra stuff first. So, I think that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're actually going to start off by doing the side games mode of this game. And for the side games, and for all those little, you know, challenges like that, we are going to use Koopa Troopa because he has the best accuracy. He'll give you the best bet for side games. Now we have in the side games we have birdie challenge which I will be doing in a separate video. Shot practice, approach practice, and putting practice. I'm going to do all three of those right now so let's start with um, shot practice I guess and God knows I need some putting practice help but I guess I'll get it here. I guess I'll get to test my abilities. So here we go. This is Koopa Troopa and this is the course we play on. It's pretty standard. Um, there are some obstacles. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I like how it uses the Shifting Sands music. Um, it, it actually, it's actually really cool. So all we have to do is hit sh ten, 8 out of 10 of these shots inside of the red circle. And it's really not that hard. I mean, this is the easiest level. There's actually three levels. So we'll really be doing nine rounds of practice, you know, practice mode, whatever. As long as I don't fail. I mean, if I fail, then I'll be even more. But we'll see how that goes. So yeah, you just have to get them inside the red circle, that's your goal. And that's pretty much it. This is going to be, <laughs> you know, pretty repetitive. But it's something that has to be done, because you do unlock something rather important by doing it. So, and you know, it is good practice as well. Um, I found that these game modes actually do help your shots and your swings from previous playthroughs. So let's see what I have now, if I can handle the heat. Alright, so, since I figured that this video is going to be very... Oh, wow, we just made that one. It's going to be very repetitive. I decided to use this... Oh, we can't even reach that one. Okay, I guess we'll have to use our power shot. You only get one power shot. And I guess we're going to have to use it here. Let's see if that will reach. That should reach. Unfortunately, we don't get to keep our one power shot. Oh, yeah. That's got it. Hopefully, it won't roll out. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at that. Wonderful. Okay, since this is going to be probably somewhat repetitive and a little dull, I decided to make this into my off-topic discussion video, or videos, depending on how long this goes, where I can just talk about other, oh damn, that was too far, other stuff and whatnot. Um, and yeah, like I said, you don't have to be perfect here, you just have to get 8 out of 10 to clear it, so there's nothing special for getting 10 out of 10 versus 8 out of 10, it's all the same, so not aiming for a perfect score, just for clear. So yeah, I decided to make this uh, my off-topic discussion video, or videos. So we will start, I actually have a list in front of me, um, as I'm playing, of topics I want to talk about. Because this is kind of boring, and I mean, we're just going to do this over and over, see? I wasn't even ready. <laughs> okay, let's um, go like that. That looks good. Um, so the first topic I want to talk about is the... Maze Game Remastered. I posted an announcement video on my channel, and, and you may have seen it, but in case you haven't, um, a remake of the original Maze Game is now available for download. Uh, Mega Freak 400 and I put this together. Mega did all the graphics, and I did all the coding and whatnot. And I have to say, oh, we completed it. Awesome. Mega, you're awesome, man. <laughs> I mean, Mega put a lot of work into that, as did I. And I really have to thank him for sticking by me, even though we've had some disagreements and some, uh, I don't want to really say disagreements, but there have been some impasses that we've encountered in our work. So let's go back to Koopa and uh, go to the next level, um, which is going to be second shots. Should be interesting. So yeah, he put a lot of work into that, and I put a lot of work into that. And I also have to thank everyone for being very supportive of it. Um, I think it turned out to be a great game, so... I highly advise that you check it out. Of course, that's your decision. And I would really appreciate some feedback, and I'm sure Mega would too. So, I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll have the link to that in the video description, um, if necessary. If I remember, rather. Because, <laughs> you know, that, that might not happen. I might not remember. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Ah, oh, piss. How did that not count? Yeah, that sucks. 
All right, next on our topic list, um, as you know, or, or as you may know, what the hell kind of bounce was that? As you may know, what the hell kind of bounce was that? We're starting over. Screw that. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Um, the Blarg Pit is a website where we have our little base of operations, so to speak, for Crystal Star Studio. That's myself. Slim Kirby, K-Man, PTM, PK, Mega, Gaia, the whole crew. Um, and we are actually going to start a new feature on the Blarg Pit. It's not, gonna, it's not really a new feature. It's been up there for a while, but this is the first time we're really like pushing for it um, because it kind of got put up in a bad time because I was busy with my all my summer stuff. Like I did a summer trivia tournament and I was kind of busy with that. So now I think it's going to get a lot of attention. Please stop, 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 stop. Okay. Um, so the new section is called Blarg's Boiler, which again isn't really a new section. And inside it is a mailbag feature where you can send emails to the specified email address there. I think it's the blogpit at gmail.com if I remember correctly. And we will post answers to your questions. Uh, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, not just one member, but say like every, all the members and a few of them will respond to the questions. I mean, I think it's a pretty cool thing like to address the whole community with a question rather than just one, where am I going? Look at that. Rather than just one member. Um, and they have to be kind of like, I don't really know. Not like, what is the meaning of life type of questions. Oh, that was a pretty terrible shot. Okay, we gotta be perfect from here on out. But uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool feature and um, if you wanna participate, that would be really cool. And we're gonna get that up and running soon and that sucks, I have to start this over again. What the hell. And um, on, that, on the blog pit is also where I host my trivia contest and I just wanted to say that the next trivia contest is Saturday, uh, October, what's the date on that? October, 20 something 23rd 23rd I just looked at a calendar really quick October 23rd uh, of course this won't apply for future viewers but I might still be hosting trivias if you're watching in the near future so be sure to check those out um, I do put a lot of work into that and I think they're a lot of fun um, I get a lot of good feedback so I guess a lot of other people think they're fun so definitely worth checking out even if you don't quite know your Mario knowledge. I just said Mario, like a, with a big accent. Your Mario knowledge. Um, it's, de it's just a lot of fun, and I'd recommend checking it out. Um, so that's kind of it for my personal shoutouts. Uh, now I have a bit of a rant to follow up on. Uh, Mega Freak 400, going back to him. Um, as you know, he does a lot of rants in his video, or as you may know. And sometimes uh, one in particular catches my attention, and I thought I really needed to address this particular rant, and I can't believe that stayed inside the circle. Um, in his uh, Chrono Trigger video number 63, which was where he first entered the Black Omen, for those familiar with the game, um, he talked about how kids' movies, or kids' shows really, of old and of new are so different. And I want to kind of follow that up by saying, he cited the Hunchback of Notre Dame specifically, that was one of his examples on how really uh, the song is about, it has very religious undertones, um, gender issues, um, I mean the main villain song that Frollo sings is about rape, so it's a pretty serious movie with a lot of dark tones that wasn't specifically geared towards kids, but it's turned into a kids movie regardless. But nowadays, kids movies and kids shows are just all like, let's solve our problems with happiness. If we're friends, we can get through anything. I mean, that kind of attitude, not that it's bad for kids to develop those kind of notions, but it's not realistic at all. Um, not that I'm saying you should teach rape and drugs and all that to your kids when they're like two, but I think um, the Disney animated movies have a more realistic outlook on things. I mean. Um, like in The Lion King, there's actually death, like a major character dies um, in, in almost any Disney version. And we cleared that. Let's uh, get into... You're interrupting my... Trouble shots are interrupting my rant. But we have to do it anyway. But it almost seems like... Um, yeah, they're more realistic and they, they have more tones that... that uh, I don't know really the word. I'm kind of unprepared for this, but... They're just... What's a good way to put it? They they don't 
they cut out all the BS, pretty much. Like in the first Pokemon movie, I've, if you've ever seen that, I still think it's a good movie. I don't know why. Um, I mean, for Pokemon, at least. But, like, Ash was brought back by tears. Like, that's kind of lame, <laughs> to be honest. To be perfectly honest, that's lame. Um, so I think movies with a more darkened outlook are actually better for kids than just movies that are like, or shows that are like, let's just be happy and we'll solve all our problems. Like even kids shows like Spongebob and cartoon shows nowadays are so lame compared to the old ones which actually had pretty adult jokes. Like, there's a lot of jokes made towards um, the main characters being possibly homosexual in the original uh, or in the first few seasons, I guess, if you want to split it up into seasons. And there are a lot of mature undertones in there that you don't really understand as a kid, but watching back now, you're like, geez, how did that get by the censors, you know? But ultimately, that's what made those shows so great. And the same thing with Rocco's Modern Life, which is my favorite show as a kid, or one of them. Um, definitely in the top three. It was just so weird and grotesque and gory and graphic but that's what made it so great and it wasn't anything bad like people weren't getting killed left and right but you know just it's just I don't know I think violence in, in shows is a little more people worry about it a little more than they should I mean it doesn't have that big of a backlash on kids I mean there's a difference between someone getting hit by an anvil and someone getting shot in the face obviously but I guess the, the main thing I'm trying to say is kids shows now aren't what they used to be and it's really a shame someone should uh, I think rethink their strategy on kids shows and rethink how they're done and I did just clear all the shot practice modes so that's good I opened oh congratulations I cleared all the shot practice modes that's what I just said thank you game for repeating me <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go into approach practice because that's the next one right uh, Yep, we cleared all those. Yep, approach practice. Here we go. Novice. Yeah, this is novice, intermediate, expert, and that's what it is for um, putting practice as well. Same rules apply. Get it inside the red circle. Easy as pie, hopefully. So, um, there was one kid show that I watched, or not watched. <laughs> that's that's really lame to say. But I was flipping through channels, and I kind of caught my eye back at the barnyard, which I guess is one one of the Nicktoons Network shows now. And it actually seems pretty okay. I mean, I think that's the best of the worst out right now. So it, I guess it's not that there aren't attempts at making good kid shows, but a lot of them just seem like really, really unrealistic. And they're like, again, let's solve our problems with happiness and friendship, which is a completely unrealistic way to go. And I mean, um, again, citing The Lion King, like that movie has violence, it has death. And yeah, it's still a kid's film, and one of my favorite films, and a movie that you can still show your kids and they'll be like, this is the best movie ever. Um, movies that, and movies and shows that don't have that, but are still geared towards kids, provide a completely unrealistic outlook. And again, that's not to say that your two-year-old should be knowing these things, but I mean, in the ages of like seven, eight, like, I mean, you should start to introduce these themes or else your child will be kind of sheltered and unprepared, I think. That's my opinion. That's my two cents on that. Of course, I'm not going to say how to raise your kids, because that's just obnoxious, and that would be abs completely absurd of me to ask, or mention, or notion at, or whatever. But, oh wow, that almost went in. But yeah, that's just my two cents. Okay, so I think that was a lengthy follow-up on that. <laughs> a lengthy, unorganized follow-up on that rant. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments. Too. Um, and look at that, we did 10 out of 10, we're perfect on that. So, uh, yeah, I promised Mega that I'd do that for a while, and I wanted to do it myself, so it's not like I was locked into a promise or something. Like, I really did want to do that. Okay, I guess that covers that. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about movies later. That's a little bit later on my list, but first I just want to talk about some general shout-outs as we get into uh, more... So what am I doing? Side games. There we go. Intermediate. 